So two good practice today. I thought in general, the guys were very physical in the morning. Uh, the defense did a really good job of getting after the ball. Didn't think the offense took care of it all that well in the morning. And then came back this afternoon and did a better job. But I think the guys really for two practices today really were extremely physical, great energy, uh, which is not that easy to do at practice 15 at this time of training camps. So I um, like where that's at right now. And I uh, like their attitude and approach to it. They just keep working. It's about working, it's about sweat, and that's what they're doing. Marquise is back out here today in a limited way. Yeah, really, um, you know, still unable to do any contact. Uh, we threw with him this morning on some route stuff, and then uh, this afternoon, but we still really can't put him in. He snuck in there for one play, but we, we can't put him in the competitive drills yet. And like, like I said, I thought, really, you know, we're 23 guys out today. Uh, you know, those numbers take their tolls on guys with more reps as the guys that are in there, and they just they keep on working. What, what does it mean to just have him out here on the field, you know? Participating in whatever game. Well, I think anytime he's out here, not just because he's a great player and he makes the dynamic plays, but he's an uh, extremely energetic player, practice player. He practices like he, like he plays. And so I think he brings a level of competition up. When you say 23, are you including the limited guys in there as well? So guys like Martin The 23 guys are guys that can't do contact. So, I think there's four guys that can do individual stuff, but they can't do any of the team stuff. Once the season starts, how physical do you think that you guys can be? I don't know. As practice. far as practice, I don't know that. I think um, you know you can't predict the future, and there's variables out of our control. And so you know we're just we're just trying to manage um, our roster where it's at, where our players are at, where their fatigue's at. And, uh, Push as much as we can. Are talk, about 20 your, talk about your tailbacks tonight, running backs. What you, what you say? All two of them. <laughs> All two of them. <laughs> okay. Um, I think again, once once again, Buck really did well uh, for the most part. Uh, we held Trey out of you know the goal line stuff there because even though it was supposed to be you know stay up at that tempo, uh, you know probably figured that wasn't going to happen. So. Um, so it was really Buck and then, um, and then Akiba. He had some nice runs in there, all 150 pounds of them. <laughs> Are any of those 23 injuries uh, season-ending? No. There's only two season-ending injuries. The two, two receivers have already off. How has Kenny Bigelow progressed? Yeah, I think, you know, Kenny, um, that's a tough position. You come in and play nose tackle when you're coming from high school and they didn't play that much as last year in high school. Um, I think that transition is tough. I think he's handling it well. I think he's much improved from where he was at in the spring. And, um, you know, these are two-a-days and long training camps are really good, really big for new guys like that, you know, big guys. It's easier to come in as a skill guy. It's tougher as a big guy. Any idea what's going on with Deion Bailey? Uh, yeah, he came out of practice there. Um, they're checking him out. And, uh, that's all I know. Andre Walker got a lot of work with the ones today. Um, are you guys, from what you've seen in the last couple days, do you think he has a chance to win that right guard job, or is it just more a matter of just seeing what he can do with the ones for studying purposes? Well, I think, you know, we're always trying to create competition, and we've had a lot of that this camp in different spots. For instance, the safety spot, and you now we have one at guard there. And so, um, you know, John and Andre are going to have a really good competition there right now. What have you thought of players waiting? What have you thought of the punting? Punting, that's your baby, Scott. You're only about the punter. <laughs> um, I know it doesn't look very good because we squib punt over to the boundary <laughs> side all the time, so the punter is doing what, what we ask him to do. Left tackles, I mean, Chad Wheeler's winning that job. Yeah, Chad's playing really well over there, very consistent. Yeah for a guy who's never played college football, so we're really pleased with his progress, but he's got a long ways to go, too. Talk about the good guys having a hard time standing up. Is there a part of you, though, that's, that's happy that guys are wanting to get after it and, and be physical? Sure. I think that um, this defense has really come out and we've really had to slow them back, you know, calm them down. That's a good thing. It's a lot harder to speed them up, so um, uh, it's a good problem to have. Good.